Hey everyone, welcome back to BBS Notes. Today we are going to discuss Research Unit 3, Research Design, Old is Gold Questions. We will break down the solutions in a simple and easy to understand way. So, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and let's jump right in. 1. Write down the common sources of error in research design. Sampling error measurement error. Design error. Data processing error 2. State any four features of research design. Objectivity. Ensuring unbiased results. Reliability. Consistency in results upon repetition. Validity. Accuracy in measuring what it intends to measure. Flexibility. Ability to adapt to changes during the research process. Three, what is research design? Research design is a framework or blueprint for conducting the research project. It details the procedures necessary for obtaining the information needed to structure or solve research problems. Four, what is generalizability? Generalizability refers to the extent to which research findings can be applied to larger populations beyond the sample studied. Five, state any four qualities of research design. Clear objectives, logical structure, thorough literature. Review ethical considerations. Six, state any four types of research design. Experimental research design, descriptive research design, correlational research design, exploratory research design. Seven, what is exploratory research design? Exploratory research design is used to investigate a problem or situation when there are few or no earlier studies to refer to. It aims to provide insights and understanding rather than conclusive evidence. 8. What is descriptive research design? Descriptive research design is used to describe the characteristics of a population or phenomenon being studied. It does not answer questions about how slash, when slash, why the characteristics occurred. 9. Briefly explain about developmental researcher design. Developmental research design involves the study of changes over time. It can be either longitudinal, observing the same subjects over a long period, or cross-sectional, observing subjects of different ages at one point in time. 10. Show your acquaintance with cohort study. A cohort study is a type of observational study where a group of individuals who share a defining characteristic, a cohort, is followed over time to observe outcomes such as the development of diseases. 11. When to use correlational research design? Correlational research design is used when the researcher wants to identify the relationship between two or more variables without manipulating them. 12. If you want to evaluate the project, which research design do you follow? To evaluate a project, an evaluative research design or a mixed methods approach can be followed, combining both qualitative and quantitative methods. 13. Can we apply experimental research design in social science research? Yes, experimental research design can be applied in social science research to determine causality by manipulating one variable to observe the effect on another. 14. Show the main difference between experimental and quasi-experimental research design. Experimental research design involves random assignment to treatment and control groups, ensuring high internal validity. Quasi-experimental design lacks random assignment, making it more susceptible to biases. Descriptive answer questions. 15. What is research design? Describe the features of research design. Research design is a structured approach to conducting research, providing a roadmap for collecting, measuring, and analyzing data. Features include a clear problem statement, hypothesis formulation, selection of methods for data collection, and ensuring validity and reliability. 16. Describe the basic principles of research design. Also mention the criterion of good research design. Basic principles include clarity in defining the problem, logical and systematic approach, replicability, and adherence to ethical standards. Criteria for a good research design involve objectivity, reliability, validity, 
and flexibility to adapt to new findings. 17. What do you mean by research design? Describe the major steps used in research design. Research design refers to the overall strategy for integrating the different components of a study in a coherent and logical way. Major steps include 1. Defining the research problem 2. Reviewing literature 3. Formulating hypotheses Father. 4. Choosing a research method 5. Data collection 6. Data analysis 7. Interpretation and reporting 18. What is research design? Describe any two types of research design. O. Research design is the plan for conducting research. Two types are experimental research design. Involves manipulating one variable to determine its effect on another with random assignment. Descriptive research. Design describes characteristics of a population or phenomenon without manipulation. 19. Show the situation when case study and historical research design is regarded as best one. Case study. Best when in-depth contextual analysis of a single case or multiple cases is required, such as studying a unique business process. Historical research design. Best when analyzing past events to understand present trends or predict future occurrences, such as studying the causes of a past economic recession. 20. If you are a principal researcher in a research project entitled Socioeconomic Impact of Visit Nepal 2010, so, state with reasons which research design would you adopt. For the socioeconomic impact of Visit Nepal 2010, a mixed methods design would be appropriate. This design allows for the collection of quantitative data, economic statistics, surveys, and qualitative data, interviews, focus groups, to provide a comprehensive analysis of the impacts 21. Define research design. Explain the different types of research designs. Research design is the structured plan for a research study, detailing the procedures for collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data. Different types include experimental design, test hypotheses by manipulating variables, descriptive design, describes characteristics without manipulation, correlational design, examines relationships between variables, exploratory design, investigates an issue without aiming for conclusive results. 22. A concept is not clear, but people believe to be so. Develop a research design to conduct the study on above situation. Also describe the criteria of evaluating a research design. For a concept not clear but widely believed, an exploratory research design is suitable. Steps include 1. Literature review to understand the belief. 2. Formulating open-ended research questions. 3. Conducting qualitative methods like interviews and focus groups. 4. Analyzing data to identify patterns or themes. Criteria for evaluating research design. Validity. Accuracy in measuring the concept. Reliability. Consistency in results. Ethical considerations. Ensuring ethical standards are met. Practicality. Feasibility of conducting the research within constraints. See you guys in the next one. Until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for watching and take care.